Hey everyone, I'm going to do a couple updates, so let's get started. <clears throat> First, I made squishy clay. Now, squishy clay is when you bake it, it turns to like a kind of like a squishy, and you should kind of press into it. Like, see, I press, and it should pop up a little bit, like not a lot, because it's not really baked right now. But yeah, I have that clay, and I have regular and pink right now. And then I have cold porcelain. I'm going to try to do this video fast. As fast as I can without being too fast. So, this, if you press into it, it kind of stays down. So, my other cold porcelain was kind of like running out. And it's been in the container for like two weeks now. And it's not good. So, I had to throw it out. Now... I am also making another one of these, but I'm going to make like 50 of these, like a ton, like just a ton, so I can just do a ton of decorative pieces, but I'm making a big one for a paperweight, try not to make any, try not to have any like, um, fingerprints in it, but yeah, I'm going to make it into a paperweight because it's pretty heavy with all this clay. But nobody commented if you thought it was cold porcelain or um, sculpty clay. So, yeah, try to comment now. And whoever is the first to get it right can get a tutorial on how to make it. So, it'll be just for you. So, that would be really cool. Okay. Now I'm going now squishies are really squishy and you can't really copy a squishy because well it is super squishy but you can kind of copy it with squishy clay and it's a little squishy like you like I'm putting a lot of power here and then I put a lot of power here and it squishes much much more but it's really cute anyway and it's pink frosting and the hole at the bottom really didn't work out so well so I kind of have to like poke a bigger hole yeah but it's really cute if you can see the other side yeah see so I did a strawberry and I'm going to put some um, scribbles paint over it and then I made this one which is really really cool so I took I made it looked like it was a bite was taking out of it, but yeah. So you bake it and then you let it dry more because it's like half cold porcelain, half like um, sculpty clay type thing. So you have to bake it, but then you also have to let it dry and cold enough. And then it starts getting this really like flaky texture when you have like the bite taken out of it and it looks so realistic. So yeah, really cool. So yeah, if you'd like any tutorials on any of this, or like my bracelet, cold porcelain, uh, squishy clay, how to make a squishy, or how to make this, just let me know, and please comment, rate, subscribe. Bye guys!